Please. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is on the Deputy Premier. Well, the Deputy Premier informed the House of Queensland's share of infrastructure funding in last night's federal budget and whether the Palaszczuk government will continue to fight for a better deal. I call the, Prem I call the Deputy Premier. Uh, I thank the member for Capalaba for the question and can I note the member for Capalaba actually believes in public transport. I've caught public transport with the member for Capalaba before. But by the time we actually see a federal Tory government invest infrastructure money in Queensland, his newborn son might be a grandfather, Mr Speaker, by the time we see that happening. Mr Speaker, let's be clear. Last night's budget was extremely... Pause disappointing. the clock. Pause the clock. Thank you, Member for Coomera. I rule that you, I find that you are trying to debate the issue with the Premier to distract the Premier. You're warned on the standing order 253A. And the colleague immediately behind you, the Member for... All right, we'll move on. Um, thank you. I call the Deputy Premier. Mr Speaker, to say that Queensland was dudded last night in terms of new infrastructure dollars for our state would be an understatement. It would be a gross understatement, Mr Speaker. This is a dud budget from a Sydney-centric government that simply doesn't get Queensland. In fact, they think they should talk about Queensland when they're in Hobart, Mr Speaker. That's where they should convene Northern Australia meetings, which go into infrastructure for Northern uh, Queensland, Mr Speaker. But, Mr Speaker, despite the Liberal National Party in Queensland holding 21 out of the 30 seats in this state, federal seats in this state, how many, how many projects did Queensland get up in the federal budget, Mr Speaker? Well, not many. Because in New South Wales, New South Wales says $5.3 billion for a new airport, Mr That's Speaker. Right. There's $2.9 billion for Western Sydney Infrastructure Plan. Billions for West Connects and Sydney Metro. Millions more for North Connects, Parramatta Light Rail, the New England Highway and the Princess Highway and more. In Victoria, there's billions as well. For Geelong Rail, North East Rail, Tullamarine Freeway, Great Ocean Road, Monash Freeway upgrade. In WA, as I said, $800 million for Metronet without a business case, Mr Speaker. No business case, $800 million. Plus millions for North Link, Kiwana Freeway, the Great Northern Highway and more. Mr Speaker, Queensland has gotten the crumbs from Malcolm Turnbull and Scott Morrison. Let's be clear about that. Even the money, as the uh, Minister for Main Roads has detailed, the money for the Bruce Highway, it's savings within the current program, Mr Speaker. It's not new money. Not new money at all. Mr Speaker, it's no wonder that Infrastructure Partnerships Australia said budget cuts federal infrastructure funding by $7.4 billion over the forward estimates and sees infrastructure funding at its lowest level in 10 years. In 10 years, Mr Speaker. Mayor Luke Smith said part of our people moving strategy across South East Queensland demanded that Cross River Rail be funded. That's a big disappointment. And what did fail LNP candidate Nick Barron say? He said, well, short, Queensland has been shortchanged in recent years when it comes to federal infrastructure funding. They didn't quote him this morning, did they, Mr Speaker? No, they, they like, quoting, him, they, they like quote, quoting Jean Tunney, who believes that we should be putting road pricing, Mr Speaker, on all of our roads. I wonder if they'll be coming into this parliament talking about road pricing, Mr Speaker, by Jean Tunney. Thank you. Time's expired. Thank